Hello YouTube, what is up? It is Jack here and today is the second episode of Gaming News Weekly for June 29th, 2012. And uh, this is going to be a pretty lengthy episode, but before we get into that, I want to talk about the new community channel that we're doing. Um, this channel will allow you to submit your own videos and we will give full credit uh, to upload them. Uh, also, you know, you can have a partnership with us. Uh, to upload a full series of videos so if you guys are interested in that uh, I will have a link in the description to our community channel so maybe subscribe to there submit a video do whatever you want um, it's kinda growing so we just started a week ago but yeah you know check it out uh, anyway uh, this week's episode is mainly gonna be about the valve updates and the Jagex updates for RuneScape and Team Fortress 2 anyway the RuneScape beta uh, combat beta I should say uh, came out on Tuesday and uh, it seems pretty cool it uh, they released um, things such as the adrenaline bar with uh, like a ton of new abilities including fury destroyer a uh, bunch of different new special attacks, different prayers, everything. It's amazing. Uh, unfortunately, only about 50,000 players got it. Not everybody got it. But uh, don't worry. On July 6th, uh, all members will be able to uh, enter the beta. So you guys will be able to enjoy that. That's pretty cool. Um, they also released uh, full Bandos in the beta. So you'll have a Bandos Helm, Bandos Tacits, Bandos... Uh, chest plates, bando shield, which is pretty cool. It looks amazing. Um, for the uh, rangers and the wizards, or majors, whatever you want to call them, they released uh, about four or five different new armors, including batwing armor and spider silk armor, which will give uh, some big bonuses, um, which, you know, pretty cool. They uh, also released uh, dual wielding uh, weapons, and I find this really neat because now you can mix up uh, your combat styles. You don't need to be just uh, a defender or an attacker or a ranger or a major. You can mix it up. You can uh, have things like a crossbow and um, a defender or a crossbow and a whip or two chaotic longswords or... Uh, just some bizarre thing. It's really cool. They even added a new type of wizard orb, which will, I guess, count as the mage part of that if you want to mix up the combo. Um, so that seems pretty cool. Uh, I hope to get more in-depth with that. I hope to do a future episode. Um, but that's this is kind of a minor up, uh, update uh, versus Valve's um, uh, progress. They have been very busy. Uh, they uh, just this week they released uh, the Pyromania update to feature, uh, thank God, Meet the Pyro, which has been four years delayed. Um, and uh, it's pretty cool. Um, apparently now the we found out the Pyro is a feminine hallucinogenic uh, freak. <laughs> who pictures everybody in a candy land kind of uh, setting. Um, so hopefully they'll, get, they'll you know, release a few more updates to show that maybe Pyro's a girl, an alien, who knows what. Um, but at the end of the Meet the Pyro video, you notice that they used Source Filmmaker. And uh, Valve showed this at the end of the video because now they're allowing you to sign up for the beta. So I'm going to put a link in the description for that. Uh, it's amazing. They, it's what uh, Valve uses to make all of their trailers for Dota 2, uh, I think Left 4 Dead 2, TF2. It's really cool, and they just gave out the first few beta keys uh, today. So uh, I signed up for mine. Hopefully you guys will be able to get yours. Um, but with the release of Meet the Pyro, they sent out a new New York-based set. Uh, to combat the pyro. Uh, it's called the uh, It's uh, a New York based set for uh, the sniper the soldier and the scout uh, which you know they uh, which uh, showcases um, a new rocket launcher a new shotgun new pistol new sniper new SMG uh, Of course new hats new miscellaneous items for for all the classes including 
uh, the demo, the medic, the heavy. Uh, it's just an absolute blowout of an update, and uh, I spent about fifty dollars on getting the new items. Uh, they also released um, Pyrovision, so uh, which means that if you log in the game between now and the beginning of July, you'll get vintage Pyrovision goggles. And the, if you put these on any of your classes, you'll be able to see in Pyrovision. You'll be able to see Candyland. You'll be able to see uh, the rainbows that shoot out of Pyro's uh, new flamethrower and the unit and the balloonicorn, and it's just I don't, it's speechless. Um, also, the mystery items have been scorched, and what I mean by that is that uh, over the past few weeks, if you've received a mysterious goldfish or a banana peel, a cheese wheel, a diary, a battery receptor, uh, any of those kind of items, they are now scorched or burnt or scrapped or just, you know, demolished. Uh, but if you craft four of these items, just any of these items together, you'll get a pile of ash, which you can sweep off using the use ability, and you'll get a scorched crate, which, of course, you can buy a scorched key from the Manco store, and you can get a new item from the Pyromania updates, such as the new uh, scout, soldier, sniper uh, weapons, or hats, or the new pyro uh, weapons, or miscellaneous items, so it's pretty cool. Um, also, if you logged on to uh, TF2 within the next few weeks and you happen to have an equalizer already in your inventory, you will, you will re-receive re the equalizer and you will also re uh, receive something called the escape plan. And they look uh, incredibly similar because they have two separate abilities now. Uh, I believe the escape plan is for a boost in speed while the equalizer is a boost in, I should say, attack. So, uh, this is pretty cool. You know, check it out. Uh, receive all of these new items before uh, they run out in the beginning of July. Um, oh, I forgot one more thing. Uh, if you, um, after the beginning of July, you will be unable to receive the vintage Pyrovision goggles, but if you dominate somebody, uh, uh, wearing the goggles, similar to the uh, Gatsby uh, update, you will receive a untradeable, uh, unvintage uh, pair of pyro goggles. And this is similar to the uh, Gatsby update because uh, after that, the Gatsby came out during the Halloween event, and if you were unable to receive that, you could dominate somebody and receive it in an untradeable form. Um, finally, for Valve, they have partnered up with Adult Swim, which is going to be really cool. Uh, we're going to see more updates on that. They might come out with a new uh, cartoon on there. We have no idea. But if you uh, sign up on Adult Swim, you will receive the Robot Chicken uh, hat for TF2 in all the classes. Um, yeah, I th it ends on July 6th or 7th, if I'm not mistaken. So you guys might want to get to that uh, within the next few days. You'll receive your key on the last day of the offer uh, in email. So uh, yeah, check that out. Um, oh, and one final thing. Uh, unfortunately, this is the week before the summer draft of gaming, or summer drought of gaming, should I say. And uh, for those of you that aren't veteran gamers, uh, the summer drought of gaming basically means that Right before July, uh, every gaming company pretty much goes incognito. They don't release any updates, and if they do, they're very minor. They don't release any demo demos. They don't release any trailers, walkthroughs, nothing. They don't release any games either until the fall. I don't know why they do this, but they do. So unfortunately, it's going to be a very dull summer, but I would check out TF2 and maybe the new RuneScape beta if you're a member uh, because they're really, like... Uh, chunk filled of uh, uh, abilities and different activities to do um, so yeah check it out guys it's pretty cool I'm going to see what I can scrape up during the summer drought for the next gaming update so uh, stay tuned don't forget to check out our community channel and submit to there and subscribe as well so I'll check you guys later peace